Dish, 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 I am Lucas Leite and you watch MMA Life. I started doing BJJ when I was kid, like probably 12 years old because I was doing, I always liked martial arts, I was, I was a fan of Bruce Lee and I was doing Kung Fu and then one day in the guys in the high school, not even the high school, in the preschool, I don't know how you guys call here. But the guys make a challenge and the guys from Jiu-Jitsu beat me up in the school. <laughs> and then after that day I, I realized I need to learn Jiu-Jitsu and ask for my father. You know, my father is one guy who always, always, always uh, sponsor me and incentive me to, to do in BJJ and, and, and it's how, how I start. First is my teacher, you know, he's not my first teacher, he's the one who gives my purple, brown and black belt. It's Leo oh, yeah. Vieira, world famous Leo Vieira. And he was like a master for me, you know. And also I I had like Andre Galvão too, one guy who I always train size when when I was purple belt. And this guy always won everything and he 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 teaches me a lot of stuff. A lot of how 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 training, not just jiu-jitsu but physical training, all the stuff. Another guy too is Marcelo Garcia, you know. I know I already fight for him twice, but he's really inspiring me because I think my, my game if I choice like all guys, even when I say Leo and Dre, I think my game is more similar to Marcelo game than these another guys. So I always, I always looking, looking for what he doing, looking for his techniques, his fights, you know, his back attacks. I love back attacks, X guard, F guard. So I think these three guys is the three guys if if. He, it really inspired me to, to train and, and to compete. It's Leo, André and Marcelo Garcia. I think my style is, is pretty much try to get the back, you know, from all positions that I can. And it's funny you ask me that because I see many, many of my fights, you know, I doing the same movements. Some guys think I just know that, but you know, I know a lot of other stuff, but 
it's really easy for me to set up my positions when, when I when I underhook and and put in the half guard with the underhook is one position that I'm feeling comfortable. My friends make joke because you know in the trainings I do a totally different game because all my friends know my positions from the half guard and the defense and like like the last two years I've been changing my game and I, if you come in and saw my sparring against my, my friends, my black belt friends, like Lapella, Pancho, Marcel, Sharpei, João Assis, the guys if I train right now, uh, I doing totally different game, you know, foot locks, you know, upside down, I try always, and I always say for the guys, this championship, I'm gonna do a different game. As soon the fight starts, you know, the guy try cross the knee, it's, a, it's, la, it's almost like a knife in the butt. I underhook, turn the knee, and end up in the back, you know. And, and, and I'm really looking forward for that, you know. My dream is be a world champion, beat five mats, five back attacks. <laughs>My favorite technique is the technique that works, you know, and, and for me, you know, since I com start competing in the big tournaments, when I start Filio, I was, I was using a lot of the, the half guard, because I don't, I'm not a flexible guard, a flexible guy, you know, I'm like, a, like everybody else, I not, don't have this super flexible guard, you know. So when I when I roll with one, one good guy on top, if I don't able to lock him, you know, sometimes I, I, I end in the bad position because I don't have the super flex to defense the guard, defense the guard, defense the guard. And, and I always I think the, the best techniques is, is the attack techniques. I know it's important the defense, very important defense, but I like C mats when the guy try, try, try. I think he, that toy is beautiful in the Jiu Jitsu. So every time if someone tries doing something, you know, I like. That's my favorite technique. I don't like too much waiting, waiting for the guy coming, like this kind of game. I, I appreciate watching the guys, but don't work for me, you know. Like waiting and upside down guard, waiting the guy attack, I think for me, really don't work. Maybe because my flex play. So every technique then you, you attack and put the guy in a bad position, you know, is a good technique for me. I won a, another world champion when I close brackets with André, you know, and, and I know many guys wish we fight, but at the time we, we compete, we, we train every day and you know, it's a tradition. And the last tournament, I, I, I was in the final with one of my idols, Marcelo Garcia, and was big for me because I was happy that I was happy to to did a good fight against him. You know, when I till the last minutes, you know, I almost sweep him in the last 10 seconds, and you know, I did a very good tournament, and for me, it was one, one very very good experience, even if I. To win the tournament, I took second place. You know, it was a very good. And another one was, was when I won the World No Gi. And two, when I won the Pan Ams, my second Pan Ams, when I fought against Chrome Grace, was very good for me because one more time, you know, it's funny, but the tournaments then I train three, four months with Gi and prepare myself, I don't have good results. When I think I don't gonna, have a good results, I, 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 I won the tournament because before this Pan Ams I went to train for BJ in Hawaii for his fights and I stayed over there two months without put the gi, in any day I put the gi, but I did a lot of wrestling, a lot of wrestling, my guard was not that good at the time because I, I was not training for, no, with gi, just no gi, just no gi, then I come in for, for the Pan Ams like three weeks before, and start training for my friend Lapella, and we train a lot. Just three weeks with Gui, and I really don't expect to do the nice tournament. I fight the open class one day before. I lose for a good guy from Grace Barra, Otavio, and you know I come back house kind of depressed. Like I, I, I shouldn't 
and they'll think, oh man, I shouldn't train more with gi for this tournament, you know, kind of feeling my grip one day before in the, in the open class. And I was mentally down, like for the next day it was, I remember when I walked to the stadium, I think myself, man, it's gonna be hard today, man. I, I'm gonna feel my grip. I, I, I kind of, not scary, but I kind of think about that, say, man, it's okay, go one by one. And I really did a, a tournament then. I, 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 I beat the guys from, when Kron finished everybody, you know, did a very good tournament, amazing performance. I was one, one by one, like a hockey ball bowl, like, one, the first match was 8-6 for me, the second match was 10-6 for me, the third match was like one advantage, I won by one advantage, the semi-final, I took the guy back, he escaped, take my back, I escaped again, take his back again, it was like crazy. And in the another side, Kron was finish one, finish another, finish four or five guys, and, I, and, and then when we, when we did the final, I was thinking, man, you know, like everybody waiting for he finished me, and, and 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 very very early in the fight he took my back. And that moment I don't wanna lie, I gonna I think myself. I say, man, I don't want that. I just think that you know. At that moment I even think I'm gonna win the match anymore because he already my back and all stage you call Kron Kron. They wanna see one more finish, and I escaped from the back. You know, I even know how I escaped from the back. He entered in my half guard, I sweep him, you know, I start to attack, 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 he defense, 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 he and he get tired. We stand up and he push me. You know, when I see he's pushing me, I thought like okay, he, he's nervous. Like I was still losing by four, two, I was two points he four for my back for, for attacking my back. I won by a advantage. And at that moment, then he pushed me. You know, I remember. I think myself, he's, he's nervous. I knew, I knew I'm gonna win the fight right there. And then I surprised him when I, I've been training a lot of wrestling with BJ, and and then I put him down, draw the match 4-4, and pass his guard in the last 30 seconds. And then was I think was on one of the best days of my life. My titles I, I have like a um, one world champion black belt, one world champion brown belt, one world champion Ogi, two Pan Americans, you know. Three times I did the finals in Pan Americans, you know. And I won Clapper Crash, Open Class, Brazilian National. Uh, I come into US, start train, start teaching, you know, start doing a good students. You know, uh, many many guys, if not my students, but they are my teammates. They 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 expect to me training them, like João, Apela, Sharpe, Marcel. You know, they come in here to train. You know, they are not my black belts. You know, but they 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 put me like in the like like kind kind of leader. You know, not not the leader of the check match, of course, because it's Leo, Leandro, but. To the guys if are here competing, you know, I kind of push the guys, and, and, and that for me is a, more a compliment than any other title. Is is coming here to us and keep pushing the guys to make the check mat big and and make the check mat world famous, you know, and, and keep doing the, the the work that Leo did for us because Leo is not able to here now, and you know, even when sometimes I don't push the train, I try organize. I, I talk to some guy, we, we pay that guy to push the train, like sometimes it's Marcel, sometimes it's Lapella, sometimes it's me, sometimes we bring Carlos Holanda, Esquisito. You know, I organize to the guys coming here and stay in the US for two, three weeks for the tournaments, you know, many times. Now my marriage is more it's difficult, but before when I rent one house with one roommate, I had like probably three, four times, I had like 25 people in my house, you know. It was difficult, but it was the end is one world no gi team, you know, check match always plays, you know, I think I, I, I feel like I help a lot, you know, the team by doing that, and that's a big accomplishment. When I 
performance was very good, you know, I, I did the final, you know, I'm ready, I was ready, you know, I had my friend here, Guga, it's not more chat match right now, but this guy, when, when he's here, I, I'm, I, I'm ready, you know, because I have another guys, Lapella, João, Marcel, Sharpei, to train me, but this guy was leaving my house for four months and we really compete each other every single day. So I think that helped me a lot for this world, you know, for this last world champion. And 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 was that? I won one match, second match, third match. I did the same final against Clark Grace. He already beat four of my friends, and we stood a lot of his game. And I put in my game by sweep and take his back. And I was in the final. I was very happy. I tried my best, but. I lost for Marcelo, but for me it was a very good experience and, and, and I'm, I'm happy and I'm glad because I know how many people wish be in my place to have the opportunity to fight one black belt middleweight world championship against Marcelo Garcia. So I know, you know, sometimes I don't want to be greedy and say, oh, I wish I won. Of course I want to win, but I know how it's hard just to be in the final and win a tournament like that, in the black belt, in the middle age, against, for me, the best in the world. I still want to be a world champion, you know? I think he, and that is my big, still my big goal. And I still want to go to ADCC. You know, I'm not able to do the trials this time because I just married and I entered with my paperwork, forget my visa, and I couldn't live in the country for one year and they don't let me fight the trials. Even if they invite me, you know, I was going to able to go this time because I'm still waiting. I have more two months until my visa coming. But that's my two goals, fight one ADCC and one um, world champion black belt. So I'm here in the butterfly guard. Sometimes the guys come with the boat's hands here in my pants to start the toreando. Soon they start the toreando, I'm gonna open one leg, control his wish and drag his shoulder. The same time that I drag, you see my hip, my hip move. And my bottle leg is already one hook in the, in the, in the back, okay? Now I keep tight, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put my right knee in the ground, oh. then I sit belt. When I sit belt, I bring his hip and put the other hook, okay? Now look, I bring him to the neutral position here and start to open one collar. I use my thumb here for open space. See, sometimes she protects you here. I'm gonna use like a. I make the grip. Once I make this grip, now I need to make the another. I have the choke here. Pass my leg over his shoulder and stretch. It's very important here to keep tight the choke here. And you, you are in this leg here, this hand here. Par, par, par. I'm here in the butterfly guard. It's very common. If I don't do enough here, you're gonna throw it out. Throw it. Throw it, throw it. No, no, just throw it out. Show my hand. Yeah. Yes. See? So, if you don't do it nothing, when he holds the grip, you have the risk to he surprise you and pass your guard. So soon he touch here, I open, I drag, okay? Now look, I'm gonna use my knee in the ground. I open my knee, sit belt here, bring him for me and put the another hook. Now I bring him to this neutral position here. And I'm gonna start use this hand here, the hand go under his arm, to open space for my right hand enter. And if he put his chin down, keep it enter. Show me the grip. Relax for him. Make one grip, make the another. I have the choke set up. Now look, this leg here, 
gonna escape that's over his shoulder. Now I use my left hand to pull him down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how did I do that?